Once you've set up a segment, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a landing page. So again, we're back to the dashboard and we're going to click on forms. So right here, this is going to be, these forms are also going to be your landing page. So we're going to go and create a new form and it gives you a bunch of options. Uh, Flowdesk has some amazing templates to use. Um, so you can click here and just scroll through or on the side, it will give you a few different options or you can just look at all of them. You're gonna scroll down till you see one that you like the layout of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna click this one. I like the layout of this one. You're gonna hit customize. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna select a segment. So we should have already created a segment or an audience for this lead magnet. So we're gonna click test lead magnet or whatever you um, named your segment and we're gonna hit save. And then it's gonna take you to your form or your landing page and it will let you design your landing page here. You can um, click on the image, go to upload image, um, play around with a few different images that you like. I'm just gonna throw one in here so you can see. You can use um, an image that you already have or you can use a stock image, whatever you want to use. I'll just click on this one. Then this is where you just customize it. So if I'm gonna do a lead magnet for Instagram, I might say, grab my Instagram planner or whatever you want to call it. Then you can uh, write a little description on what they're getting right here. Then right here is you'll ask them for their um, first name and their email address. You want to make sure you can ask for more information. You can ask for um, their first and last name, but for sure you want to get their first name and their email address. Then you can just play around right here and you can just customize it. Um, grab my freebie or download now, whatever it is, but you can, you can change it. You can also customize it for your colors. Here's some of my branding colors. I might want to change it here. It also gives you, um, when you click on forms, you can go to fields and here is where you have the option of adding the last name or just do the first name. So we can go here and you just play around with it and you can just customize it to however you like it in here. Change the, if you want to change the color of the um, text, you can do that or leave it on the default. Just kind of play around with it. All right, when you get it how you want, it, you have all the copy and everything the way that you want it to be. You want to make sure that you view it on a mobile preview because a lot of people will view your website or your freebie. Um, a lot of people are using mobile devices when they are looking at the internet. So the next thing, once you have finished and it's how you want it, you're going to select next. And then it's gonna ask you, should we enable double opt-in? I always select no, but it's up to you. Um, when you have double opt-in, that just means that it will send them an email and they have to confirm that they are agreeing to opt-in. Then the next thing, when subscribers opt in to this form, do you want an email sent to you? You can select notify me, it'll send you an email or do not notify me. Then the next one is, do you want, after this form is submitted, display the success message, or you can redirect them to an, 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 an URL. I always put display the success message, and then you're gonna select continue, and it just is a pop-up, and it tells them that they have um, subscribed. So right here is gonna be the URL that you are gonna copy, and you're gonna put this um, on your website, you can put it on your social media, wherever you want, but this is gonna be the URL for your lead magnet. And you can just copy it and paste it. I recommend having uh, either a spreadsheet or a, a notes on your computer that just has all the links to your different um, lead magnets or anything else that you create. 
then we can come down here and we can view the form and this is what people will view. And that is how you create a landing page for your lead magnet.